was one of the schools that I was looking at coming out of high school. So I kind of knew the area, and then you know I just wanted to come back and see if I would like it again. Another guy who joined the team this year was Trey Watson. He's had a big He's a Tampa guy to begin with, but I mean, he's smart. He's really smart. I me, mean, um, I can tell when he's not out there. I can tell when he's out there. Um, but it's great to have him back there. I mean, he, he keep everybody together, keep everybody on their toes, and you know, making sure we don't get comfortable. And just, I like the way he works. Opportunity to play, and um, it's been great. I didn't know how the guys was gonna take to me when I first got here, but I mean, like I said before, they they opened me. You know, they made me feel comfortable. Um, everything was great. You know, they. Didn't have no high expectations. They just was like, okay, give him an opportunity. Let's see what he do. And then once they seen that I can contribute, you know, they they welcomed me. So it, it was good. It was a great transition. The factor into some of the difficulties that Auburn was it maybe the high expectations or just I think so. There? Yeah, I think so. I mean, um, my coach, my previous coach at Auburn, he felt like being number one and all that stuff. It just was too much pressure on me. And then you know. I don't know, for some reason, thought I had, for people thought I'd just been playing football for all my life. And I thought my IQ was so high, but like, I'm actually starting, the game is now starting to slow down to me, you know, so. When did you start playing football? So I started, I played a little bit in like seventh grade, but I mean, organized football in high school. So really it was just me being bigger and stronger than everybody. I didn't really know the X's and the O's. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. What are those two years at Auburn? Obviously, you didn't get maybe the playtime you wanted, but did that help you when now that you're here, you understand the game maybe better than you did when you first, uh, first joined at Auburn? Well, being at Auburn, it helped me with life. Like, more so how to handle adversity. You know, I had all that success quick, and then I never really felt failure before. You know, people sound here a bus, and, you know, I knew I could play football, but for some reason it just didn't click at Auburn. So I don't know why, but, you know, everything happened for a reason, so. Were there any particularly trying moments there, and how did you kind of cope with that to, to get where you are? <laughs> really just stay focused and just, I mean, I'm, I, I just try to stay prayed up, you know, keep praying and just stay, Keep the faith, you know, just every, things happen for a reason, you know, and just trusting my coaches, trusting myself, and try not to just beat myself up, you know, just take it one day at a time. Now that you're a few years removed from the recruiting process, how much weight is placed on you when you are such a highly recruited player? Uh, to be honest, I'd be forgetting. Like, I mean, obviously you don't forget that you was number one coming out, but the game, like, it's just, that's, it happened so long ago. To me, I just, my goal now as a senior to just try to, solidify what I can do for this team and just try to just keep playing as a, and just cherishing these moments because, you know, it's about to be over, so. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was funny. Um, our offense fumbled, and so as a defense, we just were like, come on. Like, we, we love to be out there. So we, we go out there, and I'm like, man, let's try to stop these boys from scoring. So we go out there, Antoine tip it, and then I just see it. It's crazy, the ball, like everything just slowed down. And I'm like, let's just, you know, just make plays. But I mean, to answer the question more in depth, I mean, the game, like I said, slowed down for me. My coach, he, he helped me every day with my technique, with my blocks. And so I don't want to say I'm getting more comfortable, but I'm just, my IQ is raising. Like, you know, I know how to read my blocks better and stuff like that. You know? Just, I mean, yeah, I mean, to be honest, just playing my technique and seeing what the offensive lineman gives me. If it's going to cut me off, if it's going to reach me, you know, trying to just get my hands in there better and just try to just get to the ball and find the ball. Do you feel like there was a lot of high expectations transferring into here from SEC school? I mean, people, I probably, but like, coming, the only, the one of a, a big difference for me, coming into Auburn, I had like Twitter and like Instagram was, it was crazy. And I used to look at that stuff and feed into that stuff. But like when I realized to just stay away from it and just don't feed into it, it probably was. Like people was probably like, oh, let's see what he do, where he coming from. But I didn't know about it because I just stayed in my zone. The biggest thing for me was trying to get my, my swag back and try to get back just my little juice. 
So you think you got your swag back? It's it's a little bit, you know, a little bit. I'm, my biggest thing is just trying to stay humble because, like I said, I mean, you can you can get it and you can lose it real quick. So two more. Thinking back about that, I mean, it seems like you've improved every week coming into this next game. But I mean, how much better do you think you can get? How much more do you think your game can elevate? I mean, you can always keep getting better, keep improving. I haven't arrived or nothing like that. I'm just trying to just keep playing good against the, each team, you know, one game at a time. I mean, like I said, being a senior, I just want to just solidify that I can actually play the game, you know, my technique and all that stuff has approved. And, you know, my team trusts in me. I trust in my team. I trust in the coaches. And I'm just trying to cherish this season and see whatever great moments can happen. Just let them keep happening. In terms of, I don't know if you were asked this, but what did you learn from the Michigan game? What did the team learn I mean, we just got to just a lot of eye control and just technique. We have to trust in our technique. We have to trust in the game plan, trust in the coaches. And we just have to just be calm, cool, collect. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to do too much. Don't try to, you know, you're going to make your, your effort plays. That's going to come. But trust in your technique and just play ball. And we have to trust in each other as a, as a unit. Do you think at the end of the first half, they, that you guys lost that? I mean, my biggest thing, I was saying on the sideline, don't get too high, don't get too low. You know, let's just stay even kill. You know, adversity is going to come. All the teams we grew up, we face, they're great teams. Like, for me personally, I don't underestimate anybody. So, I mean, I just take it as it is, and, you know, I try to give everybody my best. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.